Greetings, this is Gintian, and sitting right next to me is TNT, and it's over a hole that goes all the way down to bedrock. We're going to make this hole bigger. The TNT is sitting on top of a glass block, and periodically as the hole goes deeper, there is more glass blocks to it for it to fall and land on. Let's get started. Next to this hole that the TNT is dropping down, you'll see the scaffolding blocks, and they also go all the way down to bedrock. I'm going to collect this stuff as we go, or as much as I can, and put it in a chest somewhere. That piston sound is the pumpkin farm firing off. Just wanted to let you know what that sound was. And I also took the opportunity to speed this video up during editing. And, as always, I want to help you enjoy watching or playing Minecraft anywhere. If this is the first time on my channel and you want to get the most out of your Minecraft experience, make sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell so you know when I produced videos. We have a pretty good sized hole going down now, but let's move further down and see how this goes. So far, so good. We made it all the way down to bedrock. Now I just need a few more, more to kind of round off the rough, rough edges. In case you were wondering, yes, this was fun to do. Well, it looks like that's the hole. That's all there is to it. I think I'll try mining with TNT next. Okay, I am back and I have been doing some mining. Wait, wait, what is that I see? Uh, wait a second. That was a bat. And I have, think I have found a good spot to start using TNT to mine this stuff out so I can gather the blocks. Nice, clean mining. By the way, in 1.14, TNT blocks drop all of the items that it blows up. None are lost. If you're like me, or a lot of other Minecraft players, TNT is just fun. And in this case, it's working rather well. I am gathering up all the blocks that I am getting, and I will put this them in this chest. Also, I have noticed one thing. Blowing stuff up is not this, does not allow you to use fortune. And my fortune pickaxe is not very useful under those circumstances. What that really means is that you get less ore than if I'd used the pickaxe. However, dynamite is faster and more fun. Okay, after this one, the novelty of using dynamite has worn off, so I will go ahead and speed up the video. I, of course, am having way too much fun and am enjoying using dynamite, so I will keep that up. But let's speed this up, at least for you. 
pickaxe to smooth out the wall. Too far back. Let's put some torches and try a new approach. Light this area up. Those were too far apart and one explosion did not set off the next explosion. So let's make these a little closer and try that again. I'm going to try for a chain reaction and as long as possible. Now we fill in all these holes with TNT and then we'll set it off. Well, I didn't get my chain reaction. I had to run along and light each of them, but it certainly cleared the hallway rather quickly. And I don't know if you noticed the diamonds. Again, let me light this area up. Okay, so we skip to the end and in this chest is all of the blocks that I was able to acquire. The diamonds, when possible, I mined with my fortune pickaxe, and the rest was with dynamite. Not a bad haul. Same with the redstone and the coal. When possible, I used the pickaxe, but the rest was done with dynamite. And I managed to collect quite a bit. Offline, I've received some messages from Blue the Giant Noob, who I just call Blue, and he is selling a pass to an enchanting room where I can enchant items, and it is located in the Enderman Farm, which I don't know how to get to. So we're going to go talk to Blue, and I'll buy a pass. I don't know why I would even care about how it looks on the outside. Well, I wasn't recording all this time, so... Oh, interesting. Yeah. yeah let's turn down the hostile creatures div off, because these things make quite a bit of noise. So anyway, this is the enchantment area, this is the Enderman farm, and... Uh, no one's bought a pass yet. Maybe you should become the first one to buy a pass. You got your eyes on the Enderman though, which is fine. I mean, you need the XP yeah. because the entire thing, because the because the entire purpose of this Enderman farm is to use the Enderman to get XP. And then you have your then you have your pass. You either buy the pass or you have it, and then you use that and you come to this enchantment area and do your enchantment stuff. That makes right? sense. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, this is awesome. Yeah, on, on, on the topic, by the way, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna stock up the quartz quite soon. Don't worry. I just need to fortune it all. Look at all, the look at all the. Yeah, still... I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> it's quite weird. I'm still oh. growing up in That's levels. Cool. Okay. Yeah. However, you're gonna need to buy a pass before you use it. Yes, I know. Where do I do that? You do it here. Here you see. Here you see. Buy these passes. You buy one. You buy a pass, gotcha. and then you can use it for the rest of the season. Gotcha. One second. Got, there's also an ender chest here if you need. Yes, I'm gonna so... do. I'm gonna do that. I still got. I still have. Uh... Things flying around me. Okay, yeah. here you go. Do you know what? Uh, yeah. Do you have pass? Yep. Yeah. yeah, I will expect them paid back eventually. Because. Well. There you go. Your first sale. Thank you. Indeed. <laughs> Finally, some violence. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take the money ASAP. I figured you would. 
What? This is totally what? awesome. It's so better, much better than killing Enderman. What is? The Enderman farm. I'm sorry. Than killing, uh... Pigman? Question Pigman. Mark? My nemesis. Pigman. Oh. Yep. I've been killed and by... I got a, and, and, and I got a little bit of diamonds from it as well. So, win-win. Yeah, the, uh... The, the, this was a win-win situation. I just had never made it over here. Also, you can purchase mending here if you need that. So, so that's all said. My stock with the mending is a bit dry right now, but I'll hopefully... How much you sell mending for? Six each. Well, that's pretty... that's cheap. It, it is relatively cheap. I do have a mending villager, but that would do it. I was gonna but say, yeah. but yeah, six, but yeah, six diamonds is quite cheap. It's also it's also quite a good location. Um, how much does your villager sell you uh, the mending like, book it's, for? It, it's like twenty-two each, but yeah. I'll tell you what. What if I gave you? 64 di 64 emeralds for the two diamonds I owe you. Considering the six considering that mending is six diamonds each and people will buy it and it's 22 per I think yeah, I can do that. Yeah, that would be a good deal for you cuz yeah. I could essentially make nearly I could essentially make 12 diamonds plus n almost 18 if people buy mending. There you go. Which people which I mean people are going to do because they're enchanting their stuff and like they need mending and uh, they can just buy mending here. So yeah. Obviously they're going to do that because they can just buy it here and it's quite quite easy to get. Also, you can use the lapis here for enchanting. You can't bring it home and use it for other stuff. Yes, I know. Only for enchanting. But it's I'm... still free to use here. Well, I'm, enchanting. I'm actually the one who owns the rights to sell lapis. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> but, but, but still, still, this is free lapis for enchantment purposes. Free does not... Because here's the thing, right? I, un I understand you're selling, giving. You, you, no one said you can't give it away. Exactly. You only, uh, I couldn't sell it. I couldn't make a profit for it. But I could give it away. There's a big, big difference there. Absolutely. Well, it's hard to find. Uh, also, if you wish to contest the lapis, uh, I would literally just revoke your pass. So. <laughs> I would not contest the lapis because you're giving it away. You're not selling it. Yeah. So first of all, you would get nothing out of it. Second of all, you would actually lose. <laughs> That's funny. Boy, I'm. I'm wow, the sound of experience is quite nice. Yeah, I have my sound turned off. I was just, I, I was just standing here, right here next to you, while you were doing all of that, and I went up by like five levels. I'm still going up, just standing here oh. absorbing all this. What level are you? 42 now. Okay. Like I you took me from like, you took me from like 36 to 40. Wow. All the way up to 43. Yeah, I was turning into a slideshow because of all the... Enderman. Yeah, so one important thing. How do I get back? Uh, this way. Because I noticed we came down the waterfall. And we're gonna swim up the waterfall. It's gotta be a safer way to go up and down. Is that... What do you suggest? Something with walls so you can't fall into the abyss. 
<laughs> True. Because that just... This this part wasn't actually built by me, but just... I will I will I, I will I, I will consider doing that upgrade eventually. Because that's just, I mean that's you, just, I mean that's just, I mean I mean see I almost stepped off into the void again. Yeah. I mean would I not would I not be earning from making such an upgrade? I mean it would it would it would like oh. be better it would like be improving things for my customers and my customers would uh, generate me more revenue. See, Especially when they buy mending. I keep mending. falling out. Hmm. Yeah, I will. Um, I will forward that. Well, you know how it. Uh, I mean, I'm the one that makes the same mistakes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> like, I mean, I mean, the, I mean, it would make sense for you to point that out. I mean. I think you are the only other person than me with over a hundred deaths. Yeah. And I haven't checked in a long time. Yeah. Statistics. Ugh. Okay. Deaths. Where do De deaths. Now, where do I have deaths? Now where? I'm looking for deaths. Wait. This way? Number of deaths. 157. Rip me. I've died 157 times. That's a lot. Anyway, this way. I'm not gonna throw an Ender Pro because it might hit the Enderman, and that wouldn't be nice. Oh. Did I just have somebody? See, you are assaulting one of my customers, so please, please die, please die, please die, Enderman. Don't assault my customers. Where I mean, if I up? die now, if I die now, I'm so annoyed. Here's a two block high space. Let's run to the two block high space, please. Let me not die, not die. Wow. Wow. You know what I should do? I should I sh I I, sh I should use my duper to do carpets and uh, and put carpets over the entire main island. So that would get rid of the Enderman. Uh, only on the ma I'm talking about the main island, which would be a good thing. So you don't here. really want that. Here's yep. The and, the, and then the enderman will just spawn at the end of the farm. Which would be a good thing. Okay, looks like we got rid of them all. Yep. However, if I, if, I, if I were to carpet the entire end island, I would not be doing it on my own, because that would take like, several weeks. Well, where's, how do you get out of here, once you're here? Um, uh, apparently an enderman's gonna attack you, but... And die. I think it, uh, I looked at it again. Die. Wait, be careful. I didn't know it would anger this many Endermen. There we go. Anyway, this way. Let's not stare at too many Endermen. And then we can jump through here. Gotcha. And now you're you should be in the overworld. Uh no. I'm at the Where? I'm at Minecraft job I'm at the credits. Okay, well press escape if you want to get out of the credits. Okay. And now I'm home. Yeah. It should take you wherever your spawn point is. And since my home bed is missing or obstructed, that was at spawn. Which is like 30 blocks from my base, not gonna lie, but... Very cool. Okay, I am back, and this is footage of me on a mining expedition. Of course, looking for diamonds. That is all I have time for in this episode. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.